Hello everybody, I hope everyone is doing well and welcome back. So I've been collecting my emptied products ever since my last empties video. I love filming these videos because I get to give you a more thorough review on all of these products. I get to tell you what I liked about them, what I didn't, and if I'm going to repurchase them or not. So I'm really looking forward to talking trash with you guys. So before we get into it, I'd love for you to subscribe if you aren't already. It means so much to me and let's get to it. I'm going to start off with a couple cleansers. So the first one I have here is the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. This is my all-time favorite cleansing balm and I already have repurchased it. It's truly the best one out there that I've tried. I love its consistency. It's very similar to like a thinner honey texture and when you scoop some out it pretty much melts on contact or when you first scoop some out it's not chunky and you don't have to work to melt those little chunks it's just immediately melted it just slips away your makeup and dissolves it within seconds there's nothing that this couldn't dissolve this one is on the pricey side but it's totally worth it in my opinion because the tiniest amount goes a long way and this stuff lasts a very long time. But I do have one that I found that's quite similar and it's a lot less money. It's the Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm. It has the exact same texture. Maybe this one's slightly thicker, but it's that immediately melted texture that's so amazing. The only difference is that this one can take a bit longer to dissolve all of my makeup. And this one tends to leave like this oily film on my skin, which doesn't super bother me because I always go in with a second cleanse that removes it very easily, but it's just something to note. I think at the end of the day, I would still pick this one first, but if you don't want to spend that money, this one's pretty much just as good. I have another cleansing balm here. This is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Micro Cleansing Balm. This one just felt like every other one out there. It didn't really do that much. I felt like I needed to scoop a lot out for it to really do a good job. There's not much else for me to say about this one as I just didn't really like it. Although I finished the entire thing, nothing stood out to me about this one. I just used it up because I have it. I have another cleanser here. This is the First Aid Beauty Pure Skin Deep Cleanser. I really like this when I was dealing with a lot more oil. I do have an oilier skin type and this was great to remove my excess oil and kind of clear my pores out. Um, I felt like this one gave a deeper clean compared to the other one that they offer. This is the one I'm working through right now. I just wanted to see how they differentiated. And if I were to repurchase a cleanser from them, I would go with this one. I'm not in a rush to repurchase this one just because I have been using the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser again and I've been really happy with using just that. But if my skin gets super oily again, I might consider getting this one. It was really, really good. So I'm in no rush to repurchase it right now, but I'm open to it in the future. <laughs> I have yet another cleanser. This one is the Inky List Salicylic Acid Cleanser. And I was using this back when I was super over exfoliating my skin. I'm pretty sure every product I went in with had some sort of acid in it. I had lifeless skin at that point and I was breaking out like crazy. And this was just another step that I felt like I didn't really need to have an acid in. And I didn't really enjoy this one's texture. I felt like it was hard to spread it all over my face at the beginning. It eventually go and cleanse nicely, but it was just like a texture that I didn't super enjoy. If I'm going for something with salicylic acid, I'd rather have it in a toner and not in something I'm going to rinse off. But after I finished my initial bottle, I did end up repurchasing one, but I haven't touched it in months. This was a product that I thought I really enjoyed, but I just kind of fell out of love with. I have one last cleanser before we move on to something else. This is the Pharmacy Whipped Greens Oil-Free Foaming Cleanser. This one is a really fun one. I enjoyed my entire experience with this. I am going to consider repurchasing this one after I finish up the ones I'm currently using. But this one is so fun. It whipped up and foamed up in such a nice, luxurious way. It felt like those masks that kind of bubble up. It's really interesting. It just is such a thick texture and it feels so silky and it feels like you're getting the deepest clean. It was just amazing. But at the end of the wash, my skin did not feel overstripped at all. So the days that I was wearing a lot of makeup or I felt like I needed a deep clean, I would go with this one and I felt so nice and fresh afterwards. I think this is a really fun one and a unique one and it was also very effective, which is all amazing. Now I have a couple toners to talk about. 
So the first one here is the Ren Clean Skin Care Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic. I'm pretty sure I featured this in every single one of my empties videos. This is one of my skincare staples. I have it in my collection at all times. I am working on one currently. I'm like halfway done this one. This is one I have to go easy with these days. I used to use it almost every night, but now I use it two times a week, I'd say. One or two times a week because it is a bit on the stronger side. The following day after I wake up from using this, my dark spots are lighter. I just feel very nice and smooth. It's super effective, but also very strong. So if you do end up picking this up, I would really ease your way into it just because it is so potent. But I think that's awesome to have on hand, especially the days where I'm feeling a bit more textured or just clogged or whatever. It does a great job at flushing it all out. Love it. I have another product from First Aid Beauty here. Every time I do one of these things, I realize how big of a fan I am of First Aid Beauty. There's so many of their products here. But this is the Ultra Repair Wild Oat Hydrating Toner. It took me forever to finish this. I swear I used this for like a year and a half every morning. It was just a nice, refreshing, cooling sensation. Um, sometimes I wake up with very sensitive feeling skin and this was great to just calm everything down. But I finished this like a month ago and I haven't seen much of a difference after I stopped using it. So I think it was just a product that I was just applying because it felt good. It didn't really do much for me, I don't think. So I'm going to take a breather from this one. I'm not going to repurchase it right away, but I might in the future if I find that my skin is needing this, you know? And the last toner I have is also a first aid beauty product. This is the White Clay Acne Treatment Pads with 2% salicylic acid. I love this stuff. I believe I repurchased this like three or four times. This is super, super effective. I loved it. But they recently came out with another toner similar to this. It's the oil minimizing toner with salicylic acid. This is the one that I've been using every second night. And my skin has been loving this one. My skin has been healing really nicely. It's been clearer than it has been in a while. Uh, this has been a miracle product for me, and I also like how it doesn't come with the pads. I can just take a couple drops in the palms of my hands and really press it into my skin. So I think from here on out, I'll repurchase this one over the pads. So next up, I have a couple of serums to talk about. This one here is the Summer Fridays CC Me Serum. I really enjoyed this at the time. I thought that vitamin C was really good for my skin, but it actually was not. I feel like it made my skin extra sensitive and reactive. Like my skin would react to random things that wouldn't bother me beforehand. I feel like they were just simply too harsh for my skin. I did repurchase this one because I thought it was more gentle and I thought I was seeing a difference. But after I started using that second bottle, I saw a decline in my skin and it wasn't looking as great as it was the first time around. So ever since I stopped using vitamin C's, I feel like my skin has been a lot better. So I'm not going to be repurchasing this one right here. And I also have another vitamin C. This is the Ula Henriksen Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum with 15% vitamin C and 5% PHAs and hyaluronic acid. This was just way too much stuff going on for my skin. I really like this one's formula because it didn't pill under makeup or anything, but this one made my skin feel stripped and dehydrated for some reason, so I won't be repurchasing this one either. Next up, I finished two bottles of the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Niacinamide Dark Spot Serum. This is my favorite niacinamide. It's very effective. I loved how this one sunk into my skin and I saw such a difference while using these. I think the only downside to this one is its price point because when you look at other brands like the Inky List or the Ordinary, they have niacinamide serums for such a lower price. But now that I've tried the Ordinary one and the Inky List one over a couple of months, I didn't really see a difference in my skin from using those ones, but I saw such a big difference after using the First Aid Beauty one. So I think going forward, I'd put a couple more dollars towards this one. I think it's a lot more worth it for my skin. Speaking of the one from the Inky List, I have it here. I did repurchase this and I'm going through it right now. Like I just said, I do prefer the First Aid Beauty one over this one. I have something here that I love deeply. It's the Ren Bio Retinoid. It's an anti-wrinkle concentrate oil. So this one's really fun. I believe it's like a Bakuchi oil 
one instead of actual retinol. I do have a fresh bottle to dip into. What I love most about this is that it's an oil, so I find it to be a lot more gentle than other products that I've tried, and I never get any reaction with this one. It's very calming and soothing. I just love how gently effective this one has been. Next up, I have some of my Caudalie favorites. So the first one is the Vino Perfect Brightening Glycolic Night Cream. I've talked about this so much on my channel. And they also repackaged this not too long ago, so it looks like this now. It's this cute indigo color. I just like it a lot more than the silver packaging. But anyways, the actual moisturizer in here is pure magic. Every time I use this, my dark spots are so much brighter, my texture is so smooth, and I also love the actual texture of the cream. It's so thick, you just need a tiny bit of it, and it spreads so nicely for how thick the texture of this cream is. I have been using this every second night, and it's been incredibly helpful. This is a product that I see having in my skincare collection forever. It's just incredible. And the other Caudalie moisturizer I finished was the SOS Intense Moisturizing Cream. I actually like to use this in the winter time just because it provides such a nice barrier for my skin to fight against the cold and it also keeps my makeup looking really nice. It just provides a really nice moisturizing layer that's so comfortable but it doesn't make my skin look super greasy and oily. So of course I had to pick it up for this upcoming winter. And they also repackaged this one. It's just a lighter pink now. <laughs> but I'm really excited to dip back into this one. Plus it smells so nice. I have another daytime moisturizer here that I finished. This is the Summer Fridays Cloud Dew Oil Free Gel Cream. I loved my experience with this one, but I actually found something that I like even more, and again, it is a Caudalie one. This is the Nuvino Source Hydra Grape Water Gel Moisturizer. It's pretty much the exact same consistency. I just like how this one looks under makeup a bit more so than this one did. They're pretty much same, same, but different. I just think that this one wears better on my skin. But I loved my experience with the Cloud Dew. It was perfectly moisturizing with no hint of heaviness at all. I honestly would recommend both of these. I just prefer this one for myself. I only have one face mask this time around. It's the Ren Glycol Lactic Radiance Renewal Mask. This is one of my all-time favorite masks. It's so effective. This one's a really interesting one because it feels extremely hydrating for an exfoliating mask. After I rinse it off, I see an immediate difference in the radiance of my skin. It just looks nice and plump and hydrated and exfoliated. It's an amazing one if you're in need of a good smoothening. <laughs> I have a couple more skincare ones before moving on to hair and makeup. I have a lip balm here that I finished. This is the Fresh Sugar Lemon Hydrating Lip Balm. I love this. These replaced my love for the original formula of the Bite Beauty Lip Mask. This has become my number one favorite. It's just a nice thick texture, but when you're wearing it, you can feel it seeping into the skin on your lip. It doesn't just sit on top. And when I apply this at night, I wake up with such nice hydrated lips. I adore them, and it doesn't matter what flavor or scent, I love them all. This one just happened to be the lemon one. And the last skincare product that I have to talk about here is the Tower 28 Daily Rescue Facial Spray, and oh my goodness, did this ever save my skin. I use this in the morning right before I apply my skincare, and it's made a world of difference in the amount of pimples I get. Next time I shop at Sephora, I'm going to invest in the bigger bottle. I'm going to keep this tinier one so I can fill it and put it in my purse. I didn't think this product was going to be worth the hype that it gets online, but oh boy, does it ever. It gets every single bit of hype. <laughs> It deserves it all. This stuff is amazing. I have two bath products here. The first one is the Ren Moroccan Rose Auto Bath Oil. I love this one. I wish the bottle was bigger though. That's the only thing that disappoints me in this product. I feel like I went through this very, very quickly. But oh my goodness, this smells so nice. It doesn't smell like a classic rose scent. It's just so much richer. And I love how this one didn't leave my bathtub feeling slippery. It didn't leave that film on there or whatever, but when I would get out of the bathtub, I was perfectly hydrated and I didn't have to go in with a body moisturizer. That's the miracle in bath oils. I love that, especially in the wintertime when I'm feeling too lazy. Moisturize my entire body. Having a bath with this stuff is so relaxing and I don't have to spread lotion everywhere for a long time, you know? It just is the best. 
and I love it to bits. But with that being said, I don't think I'm going to run and repurchase this. This felt like more of a treat item and not a forever item, you know? I do have a couple more bath oils that I'll run through and then I might pick it up again. But yeah, no rush here. I have another bath oil to talk about. This is the Alper Oils Floral Fusion Bath Oil. This was my favorite out of the three that they offer. Um, it smells so good. I'm not one who loves floral scents that often, but this one isn't super florally to me. I don't know, it just smells incredible. I don't know how to describe it. I'm horrible at describing scents. But just like the Ren one, I loved how it would make me feel after I stepped out of the bath. I just felt nice and nourished and cared for. The only downside to this one is that it leaves quite a bit of film on my bathtub, but I feel like the benefits from this product is worth it. I'm not in a rush to repurchase this specific one. I do still have the citrus fusion and the peppermint one to go through, but I loved my whole experience with this one. Now I have a couple of hair products. The first one is a dry shampoo. This is the IGK First Class Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo. I didn't super love this one. It wasn't great for my darker hair. It always left a white cast no matter how much I brushed it through or how little I was using. I also did not like this one's fragrance. I didn't like how I could smell it every time I would turn my head. I got kind of headachey, and I didn't like how this one felt kind of grainy in my hair too. It just made it feel dirtier than it was to begin with. But I thought I'd share my number one favorite dry shampoo, and it's the Moroccan oil dry shampoo, but this one is for dark tones. I love it, it's so amazing. And I like how when I run my fingers through my hair, it feels silky smooth, and my fingers don't get dirty like other ones that are specifically made for darker hair. I've tried quite a few for darker hair, but it would always get on my tops. It would get all over my pillowcases or in my hands and my fingernails. I just hated that. This one doesn't do that. It just makes my hair feel refreshed and actually clean. And the other and last hair care product I had in here was the Oribe Après Beach Wave and Shine Spray. I've had this for like two years, so it's completely worth it in my opinion. And the effect is so, so lovely. I love this thing so much. It truly adds so much texture and shine, which is so cool. But you have to be careful with the amount that you put into your hair because it can get crunchy yet oily at the same time very quickly. So I think that's why it took me so long to use this up, but it just made my hair look so full of volume and life and shine. I just love this stuff. So I will be for sure repurchasing this. So now I have a couple of makeup empties. The first one is a mascara. This is the Marc Jacobs at Lash. You guys know the deets. I love this stuff. I haven't checked out if it's available again. I really hope they bring it back when they do their rebrand or whatever's happening with Marc Jacobs. This is a phenomenal mascara. I just love it through and through. The packaging is so fun to look at. I love this one's wand because it's just thin and pointy so you can get so you can get a hold of all your lashes and control them and manipulate them the way you want. But you guys already knew that. I love this product so much. The next product is the M Cosmetics Brow Cream another one of my staple products. If you are someone who wants to make your brow routine faster, please try this because it's amazing. It does so many things. It fills in your brows, it thickens your brows, and it also sets them in place. I can't tell you how many of these I've gone through over the last couple of years, but I'm always going to have this in my collection. And the last product to finish off today's video is the Milk Makeup Flex Concealer. I did repurchase this one and keep tuned because I'm going to be doing a new full face of milk makeup very shortly once I receive the new products that they came out with. But yet again, this is another one of my staple products. I just love how this one wears. It's such a thin consistency, but it covers so well. And I love its finish because it's not completely matte. There's a little bit of glow running through it that I think is so pretty, but it doesn't settle into any of my lines. It just wears amazingly. Highly recommend it. And there we have it. That concludes this round of empties. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful and interesting. If you did, please give this video a like. It would help me out so very much. I'll make sure to link all of the products I talked about in the description down below as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye!